Well, it's been a long and emotional fight for the parents of Jordan McNair, but tonight, some closure. Nearly three years after the young University of Maryland football player collapsed at practice and then later died from heat stroke. WJZ is live at 11 o'clock. Amy Kawada spoke to McNair's parents about the settlement they have reached and explains how they're using their son's death for a greater good. Amy. Rick, well, since McNair's death back in 2018, the family has turned their pain into purpose through a foundation in his honor to prevent similar tragedies from happening again. His father says today was a victory. This has been a, a painful fight, a very emotional fight. After nearly two and a half years since the death of 19 year old offensive lineman Jordan McNair, the final step in the settlement process. And this Victory today shows a lot of people that guess what? You know, it can be done. The State Board of Public Works voted unanimously Wednesday, approving a three and a half million dollar settlement between the University of Maryland and the McNair family. No parent should ever have to experience the unspeakable agony that Tanya Wilson and Martin McNair have been through. During a team workout back in 2018, McNair died after collapsing from a heat stroke. An independent medical report found several issues with his treatment, including failure to assess his vital signs and not having the proper cooling devices. His death sparked outrage that spread far beyond the College Park campus. All of this took far too long, but it has led to a set of systematic reforms which I signed into law last year. As Jordan's parents turn the page, they say they're committed to building his legacy by raising awareness of heat related illnesses in student athletes so no other family has to experience their pain. I miss him every day. But yesterday is bigger than any NFL contract he would have had. And the University of Maryland also announced today a joint partnership with the Jordan McNair Foundation that will focus on student athlete health and safety. Live tonight, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.